Stop overpaying for your phone. Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save with plans starting at just $15 a month, making saving money by switching to Mint the easiest New Year's resolution to complete. All plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Love your current phone? No problem. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. Get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash drunk. That's mintmobile.com slash drunk. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash drunk. Here, here. God, the shirt is like aggressively wrinkled. I know. You look like shit. What are I you doing? I, I love this shirt, but when it's wrinkled, it is a, tr- a train wreck. <laughs> How is it wrinkled? You're wearing it in back-to-back apps. Am I? Uh, give me a coat or something there, Peter. This is embarrassing. Uh, I, I wore that on the last one. Shit in my ass. Yeah. All right. Well, we're Sorry. rolling. It's all right. Uh, it's good. This is good content. Mm-hmm. The people love the wrinkled shirt content. Yeah. Good, good content really seems to care. You know, I... Still have lovely. Oh, we got Stephanie. Stephanie. And I want to try her paper plane because we didn't try a paper plane last time. Yeah. So Mark, let's cheers. cheers. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. Hey. hey. Oh, that's good. That's a really good paper plane. Wow. Where'd you learn that? All right, Sarah. Sarah. Well, where do you work? I work at ABCB. It's a vegan spot. I am not vegan, but it's a, actually, I shouldn't even say that. It's a vegetarian spot. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah, they get upset when, when you assume it's vegan. So right. I, I <laughs> oh, we missed all that. Should we redo it? I think I picked it up. Actually. I'm a pretty loud talk. <laughs> we'll do subtitles. <laughs> Oh, is it tough uh, when you want you got a little turkey sandwich on your cheek and they're like, "Hey, you bitch!" It is devastating to bring McDonald's in there. You feel oh, like, that's aggressive right, though. But I know, but like occasionally <laughs> you can't help but want a McChicken, you know. So like, but yeah. if you bring it in, I always feel like dastardly bringing something. Like it's that. like bringing your kid to a strip club. <laughs> yeah, yes. they're like, bring him back in a few years. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, <laughs> it's tough. Damn, all right. Vegetarian spot, where is it? It's uh, Flatiron near uh, 14th Street Union Square. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Flatiron. Very close to here. Underrated area. Mm -hmm. Great spot. That Nomad, they call it now. Yeah. North of Madison. (laughs) But it sounds more badass than it is. Nomad, yeah. Yeah. That's a hot spot. You got the, what what is it? What's that park? Gramercy? Madison no, Square Madison Park? Square Madison Park. Square oh, Park. Yeah, yeah that's a great park. Madison Square Garden was. That's why it's called Madison Square yeah. Garden. Then it moved to 34th Street. There hopefully, you go. Hopefully it stays there. Apparently baseball was invented in that park. Really? Fun fact. Admiral Doubleday? Huh? That's the guy who invented it. Who is it? Admiral Doubleday. Whoa. My favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> <laughs> Give that a goog, though. I might be Admiral off. Admiral Doubleday? Yeah. The hell is that? That's a whole person. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Crazy that baseball had to be invented. They had to go, all right, we'll do bases. You'll you'll spit. Then you'll pat my ass. Like, you know, they had to come up with all this shit. It says Madison Square Park baseball. Yeah. Well you done, see, Mark. I got a couple. 1845. Wow. wow. It hasn't baseball changed club. a lick. Still slow. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the players look different. Yeah. Right? yeah. They, they all look like fat tubs of shit back then. Now they all look like Thor. <laughs> yeah. The long hair, right? All right. the—I mean, have you seen pictures now? Like, look like Noah Syndergaard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. But then you got the Dominicans too. Oh man, with the chains. Ooh. You ever? You ever? This is what a pussy I am. I'm like, I don't think I'd be able to Ooh. swing a bat with a chain that big around my neck. <laughs> they're just like running while it's bouncing on their chest. Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I watch UFC and they're in the corner after fucking fighting for three rounds and the guy's like wiping shit off I'm like he just got a cut that's how big of a pussy i am I'm like easy on his face with the rag uh. well, that probably feels like oh yeah look at look at that fupa <laughs> chris christie's got a fat upper pussy area look I, at that i saw him at newark like a week ago and he's just this big oompa loompa oh that's a that's hilarious Jeez, you that's like sl- laurel and hardy shit but he's uh, did you he's, slap his arm and ride the waves back home from the airport jesus christ <laughs> well, he was in a big yellow shirt and everybody was shaking his hand it was he looked like big bird that is terrible form yeah 
I saw Bill Clinton flying public when I went down to Key West. No way. Yeah, he was just wait. Like, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton on a, a corporate or commercial airline. Commercial airline. Yeah. Damn. He just had. Well, it makes cars. sense. I mean, how like flying forever is expensive. I know, but he's Clinton. He's an ex-pres. Yeah, but what do you think? He just <laughs> he flew private for a while. But then uh, he's on some fucking sheets. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. Good point. Epstein flight logs. <laughs> maybe maybe Delta's not the worst option. Yeah, he was in some sheets too. <laughs> but wow, Clinton. Yeah. yeah. How would he look? Was he eating McDonald's? He looked thin, kind of grandfatherly. Ah, a little a little yeah, sunken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, he, he lost some of that McDonald's weight for sure. <laughs> yeah, remember that he was he was a yeah he was oh. a chubbier guy for oh, a minute. Oh yeah, a he was hefty. a porker. He had a heart surgery, right? I believe so. Yeah, that That'll was remember it. that's Phil Hartman sketch of him at McDonald's eating great. everybody's food. That was so a great funny. sketch. So funny. Well, it must be tough to be out of shape and a cheater, because that's a <laughs> lot of pressure on your on your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. A lot of anxiety. Tony yeah. Soprano, he was always dealing yes. with shit. You know. Also, Viagra is horrible for your heart. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. God. Good old Phil Hartman. Oh, look at Tim Meadows. Kevin Nealon. Yep. Arkansas. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. How are you? Man, who is funnier than Phil Hartman? Nobody's like better than Phil Hartman. Ellen Cleghorn. <laughs> uh, it's just a fat joke, but it's so uh, elaborate. But it, but it's like not play. That was by the way, that was the '90s. Like every joke was like whatever, fat. So and you're yeah. like, you rewatch it, you're like, all right, you gotta you lay know. off me. I'm starving. Yeah. You know that was also a '90s fat joke. But at least that was a little more like cartoony than just. The, I feel like a lot of punchlines were just you're fat. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, we for do sure. With Chris Christie. Yeah. But I said fat upper pussy area. I tried to keep it a little classy. <laughs> yeah. That was elevated fat humor, Sal- yeah. Salamanca. Fupa sounds like a Brazilian restaurant that's hard to get into. You got you got into Fupa? Holy shit. I'm going to try Stephanie's. This is an old fashioned you made us. I'm, wait, let's share this. Oh. Oh, no. Let's share it. Make it don't another. Need all this. Come on. Uh, one uh, I want one. If you don't mind. Of course. Thanks. No, no. I got my own coming. It's and a damn got, good old fashioned. I got my paper plane here. I'll wait, and then we. I know you got to get out of here, Steph. No we appreciate you coming here, and uh, any peeves, Stephanie? Anything bothering you lately? Um, nothing's bothering me. Mmm, the spy balloon. Slow walkers. Ah, uh, no, I'm just yeah. kidding. That's hilarious. Did you see like the picture? I, at least maybe it wasn't a real picture, but it was like people throwing things up. Oh, like, really? I don't know if it was real or not. <laughs> I did not see that. That's fun. I assume that's how Greta Thunberg gets around. <laughs> it seemed like her mode of transportation. Just waving like this. Yeah. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, what do you got to? I know you got your kids in the car downstairs, but uh, yeah. other than that. I have work tonight, actually. Oh, really? Mm. And is that a cool bar? It is a cool bar. It's a small bar. And there's at most two of us behind it. Well, if we have the um, bar back, there's a few more of us. But it's very small, and it services the whole thing. So it, it's a little hectic and crazy. But once you get the rhythm going, it's really good. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What's your favorite drink to make there? We have a pomegranate mezcalita. Woo! Look who it is. Neil. Hey. Neil. 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 All right. You guys had to start. You do it live or something? It's live. Yeah, it's dude. live streaming, like yeah. Louis special. Yeah, which he got out before Rock, which I think was intentional. You think so? Oh, yes. yeah, you know, comics as petty cunts. Oh. I think he was like, oh, Rock's doing one? I'll knock it out first. But we'll get into that later. I got soup for me. Oh, Can, can hey. you hold off on the soup? I don't know. What do you think? Is it funny or funny? Just bring it? the soup. Can I dip pita? Let me get sand. Yeah. I need four pieces of bread. Four pieces of bread work. Then, Are wait, you going to drink? Who's the Jew here? This is so confusing. <laughs> I know. Well, you the are Russian a hat Jewy Irishman. I know. I know. Tell me about it. Hi, everybody. It's me, hey. Neil Brennan. Neil Brennan, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go oh, on. is this chicken noodle, I assume? It's from a cart. They oh. wouldn't give me an extra piece of pita. Damn. The boss won't allow it. You got street soup? Yeah. Wow. I love it. So we'll see. We'll see. All what right. Happens. Are to you quote, vegan? To quote Theo, yeah, I'm like at least vegetarian. Sorry. All right. Um. Hi. How are you? This is Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. 
Um, Did I hear a, I... a Theo Vaughn quote coming? We'll see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would you mind making one extra paper plane just so Neil can at least try it? Yeah. I generally don't like hard alcohol. You're going to okay. like this. Trust me. I will? Yeah. What are you guys doing not on my phone on Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you guys be on my phone on Instagram doing crowd work right uh, now? What are, you, what are you doing here? I got a spy balloon going up today, actually. I love it. Should I yell out a suggestion to you guys while uh, we might move? Well, we you don't want to burn get, material. You ever just get the bored earthquake. With your ass? The earthquake in Turkey. Uh, great comedian. But <laughs> you are grandfathered in, and Mulaney just made it by a labia hair with the uh, not having to put clips out. I think I our beg level. Your pardon. You guys. You both sell more tickets than me, so. Oh, okay. I guess so it's working. You guys, it we works. are aggressive with clips. Yeah, you are. I am. We're both very aggressive. What with is clips. the plan? What's the plan? One guy. I've got guys going. I never heard you before. Somebody shared oh, no, his no, clip. No, no, no. I'm saying, how many do you try to do? Oh, well, as many as possible. I yeah. Just try if to if it's good, I'll throw it up. Is I don't you, have like you a, have like every day. At, no, not no. every day. No, I go every three. That's my move. Really? Thank you. Yeah. You're every active in my thing. All right, um, I'll take it, it feels like more than that, more than. Three. <laughs> well, you, ruined, are you annoyed right? when you see that much crowd work? No, I I think I've asked you both this individually. I worry that just people are yelling out the whole time. If I right. release crowd work shit, I just wouldn't want people yelling out shit when I'm trying to do other bits. I Park do Gatsby sections. I do thing. that. Do I, you I, say I'll like say, shut I'll, the fuck up? I'll get to you. Yeah. Okay. Same. So a lot of time I'll do it. I'll say let's do this at the end. Or I'll say, all right, let's talk a little bit. Like, I, sometimes I like to just break up the material. Like, if you listen to, like, old Dangerfield, he'd do so many joke, 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 and then he'd be like, he'd do crowd work. And be like, I think he just is breaking up that rhythm. It's yeah, fun. so anyway, so Rodney Dangerfield, he's a comedian um, that I'm sponsoring called Rodney Dangerfield. Hold on. <laughs> you might have to drink some soup. Go for That's it. It's pretty gross. Hopefully you can slurp. <laughs> mm. What's going on, fellas? How are you? Mm. Good. It's not. We just had Allison Bree on, so it's nice to have a comedian because I think we, she was great. But it's a different energy. Great. Oh, she has like um, she wants to talk about st like well, she doesn't have bits. She's got two publicists here. I made a black joke. It got weird. But <laughs> it got weird. <laughs> but I it get was, it. You know, she's it was, a real. Star. But she was she was a she great was guest. Cool. She was fun and nice. She was really good. Well, that's the problem is when you start dealing with better guests, you have to worry about like. A team and shit. Yes, exactly. And it's a bit Mark like, classed it up. He only farted silently, which yes. I thought was pretty oh, a nice great. touch. Huge growth for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't easy. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that happens. Yeah. I didn't. I haven't. I've only had um, seven people on mine so far on my new podcast blocks. Now streaming. Um, oh, yeah, you guys, these guys are both coming up today and tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, like. I'm Natasha Leone's doing it. like just mm. once you're into like it's like okay and you just kind of have to play that yeah that um, would suck to be an actor I mean oh as a job yeah well just I mean I get acting is fun but you can't really emote they well it would I I would be fucking petrified all the time if I was an actor of course that's what I'm saying because you can't you're just waiting for someone like what should I say everyone yeah. you meet you're like do you have anything I can say? Right, and we can write a new joke. They have to like audition. They have yes. to get a gig. Well, she's making, she's writing she's and making her own movies on a now. bigger level. Yeah. yeah, where she can make her own stuff. But I know what you mean. If you're an actor who's not quite that big, and you do the slightest thing wrong, they're like, "Well, we'll just get the person who didn't say exactly that yeah. shit about Asian people or whatever." Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah. Well, there's that the easily replaceable thing, but there's also like, you can't generate your own material. Right, right. Yeah, Louis, Louis is back. Matt Lauer is not. There you go. Yes. You know? That's a T-shirt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they should have sold that as merch. Um, yeah, the, you're absolutely right. And you can't... Yeah, if you can... You, you have to write your way out of everything. Right, right. And you need a publicist, and it's it's scary, but I think that's why comedy is so popular. Because I think uh, people are like, I got to go out and hear some shit, because I can't say it. Right, no one's allowed to say anything. So, and then you, you guys have you got a little canceled a long time ago, a long right? Long time ago, yeah. And oh, then yeah, that was nothing. But it was like nothing. Have yeah. you gotten a? You got dinged once, right? Yeah, you get the Twitter shit every now and then, you know. But we're we're all here, we're right? That's standing. the thing is, if you can like survive it, yeah. If you, I mean, I still think the best way to do it is just ignore it, which is kind of what I feel like you did. Yeah, Thank that's you. but then sometimes you can't like a Gillis thing. Is this can't. soup? <laughs> <laughs> that's a salmon. You're gonna like this. Soup. This, is a, this is a good cocktail. I think. Is it sugary? 
A little it's, bit. It's a little tart, a little Very sugary. good, though. She's a pro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was not a fake noise. <laughs> that was not a fake, I didn't like that drink noise. That was literally, I can't believe people drink alcohol. Really? Oh, wow. I need Because I don't like the feeling, mm. so it's not like that's worth it. Right, oh, okay. right. See, that's a gift. I, I wish say I didn't that, like alcohol. I always say that, save it for my podcast, I always say... Uh, Alcohol, drinking alcohol is like, uh, it's like uh, giving oral sex. No one's there for the taste. Oh, <laughs> that's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but like a whore, you learn to love it yeah. over time. But also you, you don't know. have to woo a cocktail. <laughs> that's true, too. Yes. The cocktail, you're yes. just like, I'll have a cocktail. But you do have to like show ID to meet oh. the, you know what I mean? Like there is a level of like, I'm doing a lot of shit There's to parallels. have to drink this bad. Right. To Not even bad, just like not the greatest flavor. Yeah, but weirdly, you only have to be 21 to drink. You can fuck it. 11? 11? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever number was coming out. Of yeah, <laughs> well, Leonardo DiCaprio is different than other people, but you know. He's grandfathered into dating. Literally. Not yet. Um, <laughs> he is, uh, he is. <laughs> He's got the 19 now. That's young. 19? That's young. Yeah, that's the new 19's one. 19's too oh, young. His early model. He can get away with it. He can get away with it, but it's too young. Yeah. It's no, weird. it is to the point where even his friends are going to be like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. She can't come out to the bar. Literally, yeah. can't get in. He has to like go out to the parking lot every every couple minutes. Like, I gotta go uh, feed the meter. Uh, it's like, that's like DiCaprio. Name. You even parked in a, at a meter and <laughs> fucking. That to her high school was derailed by COVID. Legit. Who's yeah? Was? Good point. Someone on Twitter just said that about DiCaprio. That yeah, his yeah. girlfriend high school was derailed by COVID. Like, she that's just, wild. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. That's really that's a good. Nineteen tweet. is too young. What are you talking? She hadn't seen half his movies. Yeah. His high Revenant? school was derailed, derailed by the portable phone. Like, <laughs> literally, he was in high school in 1989. Yeah, oh, the wow. That's challenger. so insane. Yeah, it, that's funnier. Yeah, <laughs> by the spatial challenger. Um, yeah, so I don't know what we're talking about. Uh, oh, yeah. we're talking about uh, legal age of um, sex. Yes, yes. You're married now. Tell us about that. It's <laughs> wild. It's all the same, but uh, there's, there's the government is involved, as Stanhope would say. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, she wanted to do it. I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> Those were his vows. Yeah. <laughs> Got pretty yeah. So what are we doing here? That was your vows? Like, yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, the wedding is so... It was beautiful. She killed it. She planned the whole thing, and it was really pretty. You were there. Yeah. But it was... Uh, it's so uncomfortable. There's so much attention. The the vows and the the, the chapel. What do you call it? You literally sermon. perform at shows every night for much bigger audiences. Yeah. it's brutal. Yeah. It's brutal. Your whole you had to, it was there. brutal because you had to be a person. Yes, exactly. And being a person is so much more exhausting than doing stand up. It had, really it's is. It's also fucking embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It I had eight. That's lines when people chambered. go. People go. I could never be a comedian. We should all go. I could never be a person. <laughs> 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 it yeah, is more tiring. Though. That's how it feels now. It's yeah. to the point where my brother said it a long time ago. He said, "You'll you know you've been doing stand up long enough when you're comfortable on stage and uncomfortable at the grocery store." Ooh, boy. Which is like, yeah, that's. Uh, I don't think any of us are there but that i talked to ronnie chang about the the amount of birthday parties we're oh, able to miss oh isn't it great heavenly. i mean that should be part of the offer when they offer us gigs like <laughs> and <laughs> it's you get 80 percent of the door <laughs> and you get to miss that brunch yeah. yes oh. that brunch that your girlfriend really wants you oh, to go to because every gig or every social thing is you got to put a governor on I'm putting a governor on my true self the whole time, you know? And then when you do stand-up, you go, all right, Jews, you know, or whatever it is. <laughs> You're dying to yell out Jews. Yeah. That's it. You've got That's you've it. got Jew Tourette's. I got, Ju I got Jewish Tourette's. You're right. Yeah. But it's everything. It's Holocaust. Well, that's Jew, yeah. too. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Uh, oh, fuck. Auschwitz. Oh, oh shit. shit. No, yeah. But, you know. Yeah, oh, black, there. trans, whatever all the stuff you're not supposed to. I'm, I'm like Roger Rabbit behind the wall and two bits. You know, I just want to yell queef at this uh funeral um it is fun to be at the place where i could say like hey fatties it's yeah fun. it's yeah. fun Even um, though i get an instagram ding they're like we're trying to keep this a pleasant place and i'm like oh my god the community guidelines now it's oh. hr now we have to deal with hr hr that's on, what community guidelines on are. twitter 
Uh, not Twitter's the last place. Really. Oh, because thank God Saint Elon figured it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they can't have they porn stars are just posting videos of them taking three dicks. They can't censor jokes. That would be pretty fucked up. We're getting we're getting dicks are better than jokes. I think now. Well, tell that to Lou. Well, well, you had the yeah, but also you had that. Do you have the joke about the tr the locker room or the locker the thing in the picture in your locker? I don't know. Like something, someone's trans, and they're like, "Oh, it's a hero." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wow, a great joke. I forgot about that joke. Jeez, thanks. Well, you have so many great jokes, uh, <laughs> and it must you. be hard to remember. I don't Mark, remember. It goes a little something. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it is amazing on Instagram that they could just literally, you basically seeing tits, but then you do a joke. Will you just say the word Nazi even if you're making fun of Nazis right. and they're like, yeah. nope. Because it's a computer yeah. doing it now. Yeah, it's a, de it's a robot that can't detect sarcasm. Exactly, or irony. Yeah. Yeah, but Seinfeld once uh, had a great line. Somebody goes, how do you remember all the acts? And he goes, how does a, ca a cab driver remember where to go? It, you wrote it. You know it. You do it every yeah. day. Well, ways now, though. Yeah, that's true. Well, I was going to say, that's like an old, who is this Seinfeld you speak of? I'm a young person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, yeah, they used to have to know, but he's... I fuck up jokes sometimes. You ever fuck oh, up? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like when you're, when you think about changing a word, but you don't. You're like, I should rewrite that line, and then you're like on stage, and you're like, wait, did I rewrite it? Oh, As you're going yeah. over the about to right. say it, and you're like, nah, right. nah. yeah, um, I've definitely done that. And then you flub the line because you're thinking yes, about how to that change. That happened it. to me the other night. I get yeah. that, and I was in Vancouver with Gary Veter on. Uh, over the weekend and it's you do that thing where you're mid set and you're like this joke's not gonna work in canada oh yeah that it's sometimes. building to a reference and you're yeah. like oh no yeah. i had a punchline that was uh liberty 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 and they were just like <laughs> oh i was so like they don't Fuck. have that no I, oh shit but then i got you get to riff off that but i'm like you don't realize it's one of the things i'm like shit i have to you forget it's right there it worked in fucking seattle mm -hmm. but I'm just at two one hours line, north yeah. Yeah. yeah, they don't have Venmo in Canada. I right. saw Mulaney have a whole Venmo bit, and then he was like, you don't have Venmo. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, oh, my God, I just realized, do you not have Venmo? And they were like, no. And he was like, oh, fuck. Oh, that's That's happened to me most recently. It happened when I was doing a black room, and I had Fathers. what I now realize. <laughs> which I didn't hear what you said. Fathers. Yeah, yeah, we don't have those. Right. Uh, I had a, what I realized is like a white closer. <laughs> Uh -huh. And I was like, "Oh fuck!" Like I'm halfway in. What and is it, like, Dave Matthews? What's the clue? No, I don't. It was just. It was actually about Louis, uh. which they don't care about. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that they just true. had no. Right. Say again? That yeah. was another great Louis line. He goes, "You find out who your friends are." Yeah, no, they're friends. Yeah. yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but like on a, in L.A., on... you can't still be listening to R. Kelly and turn on Louis. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know? exactly. Good point. Uh, so forgetfulness canada now what else is happening with you guys you're married you're what are you doing i'm single he's living it up yeah you're single yeah i feel like i am a like you guys had a baby and a slightly older than you baby <laughs> <laughs> where i have your vocal inflections and like a bit of your fucking uh, uh fucking Mannerism. add and fucking <laughs> anxiety yeah and a bit of like i might have fucking i might be on the spectrum right um and well, there's but, a lot of joke autism in here. Yeah, I, this is this might be a uh, 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 early Mount Rushmore. We <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta get Thunberg on there. A uh, <laughs> uh, uh, joke autism. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. But do you do you uh, like being single, or is that not your thing? It's got pros and cons. I don't. You know what? The past week, I've realized I I I like being alone with that includes men and women mm. like right. i like same a friend of mine has an object it's it dorothy parker said it also but my friend said it i think she didn't know but dorothy parker said it. in terms of like being with a person she said i don't always want to be uh, perceived oh like i just don't want to be like i just don't want two eyeballs looking at me right <laughs> like you got four right here <laughs> i hate it yeah no i'm saying like i just don't want a person sure i'm getting to the point where podcasts are the only way i can deal with people i it's i'm because <laughs> you're like at least that. like a plug dates at the end yeah <laughs> and, well yeah. no and it's like we get to talk like the best of our thoughts right like here's a thought i had that might be worth discussing 
and it's a fixed amount of time and and then we monetize it am i right yeah. um no but but i just don't always want a person around and i i'm just getting i'm just accepting it more yeah because my show the block show is now streaming on netflix is like uh it's a lot of it's like I don't like that part of myself, but a bit of it's like ah, yeah. I don't mind it. Of course, like I there are advantages, and I also think it's easier to be a single guy than a single woman. Yeah, because we sure. don't have to worry about like safety. Yes, like physical safety. Totally. Um, yeah, we're two of the toughest guys out there, Neil. I mean, <laughs> no, but you're big. You look yeah. like you're tall. You're yeah. tall, so so like you would have an easy. Like he and I will, uh, to quote Brian Callen, we'll keep you busy in a fight. <laughs> We've got scrap. You'll, you'd be, we'd all open with sarcasm, obviously. Yes, yeah, sure. yes. Um, oh yeah, I grew up in a work. predominantly black neighborhood and went to public school. So without zingers, I would be still in a locker. And they called them zingers, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they go, Mark, let's hear some of those new zingers. <laughs> they called them snaps yeah, back then. I but, love uh, snaps. That was Your fun. Mama Your mama jokes? mama Yeah, sure. come on. I had those a book of classics. them. classics. I had to have the book on me in case I needed them. <laughs> but yeah, it, you're right. It's, uh, we're not tough. I don't, you have but I don't, but I also believe that whatever, we are all monsters and we could figure it out if like we were attacked physically. But, sure. Uh, I think it's easier to be a single guy than a single girl. And I also think it's, um, uh, we're in a fortunate position. Like, um, as a guy, uh, we're all fortunate people, like, career wise. Oh, for sure. We're very lucky. And, uh, and so, like, you know, it's not, it's not DiCap. I don't know. Some, it is DiCaprio. I'm DiCaprio's age. You guys are younger than me. So, like, mm. it is getting a little creepy. Right. A little. Somebody the other day was like, you can't date a 31-year-old. Like, that's too young. And no. to me, I'm like, 31's very old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I, friend, developed. I had a friend say to me that 31 is the youngest I could go. That's what I'm, they were what? saying. Like, No, they were was saying that's. No, it was a guy. Wow. That was the point was you can't go younger. Than, I wonder if it's the same friend who said it to us. That's funny. I'm yeah. trying to remember who it even was. Yeah, yeah Look, maybe. But, nobody gets Beckinsale gets her and drove her dating uh well she's Pete a hero Davidson. yeah exactly that's, uh, that's she's a nice a privilege on the lady side i think he the friend i was talking to i think he meant it in a way where it's like they grew up with a different type of internet and phones and they can't focus in the same way but i think uh, we're all kind of married to our phones too i think it's kind of got us all and it's also kind of insulting like hey these 31 year old ladies they don't know any better it's like well what well, one that's is it? the hard part is like yeah. giving a woman her agency and then, but also being like, you're not ready. Yeah, exactly. So you might as well call him sweetie. Like, look, sweetie. <laughs> right. I, I know what I'm like. You can't handle it. Exactly. Which yeah. one is it? Uh, I got, it's both. Uh, it's whichever one uh, favors them at the time. <laughs> you know the Ted Alexander joke? This is a great single joke. Is uh, being single, it's a struggle between loneliness and euphoria. Mm. That's very funny. You know, where it's like, you know, loneliness right before you go to bed at night, euphoria the whole fucking rest of the time. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's great. a great joke. That's a legit Billy Joel line. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I have some bad news. That was actually, guys, that wasn't Ted Alexandro. That was Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing the outfit. <laughs> yeah, Patrice had the great line of, uh, "I men don't want to be alone, but we want to be by ourselves. Or one yeah, of them. Yeah, like we watch it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's such a profound point. Yeah, and I don't even know if I want that sometimes. So it's yeah. a matter of- Why is that, do you think? It's that thing of judgment. I just don't want to be the ver. I, I had the thought this week. I don't. I may not want to be the version of me that you like the best. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. I just want to be the version that I like the best. Who is on his phone? If I make changes, it's because I want to make them. It's not because. Mm. Uh, Fahim has a great joke. Uh, Fahim Anwar, the great the, comic. Uh, yep, excellent. I always said he was a great opener. He used to open for me, and I was like. Fahim's great because he's got great jokes and no confidence. <laughs> True um, comic. Uh, so uh, it's basically white women just to expect that you're going to grow and change for them. Right. Whereas like 
Puerto Rican women will be like, he just yells. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> like, that's just what they, so this idea that I'm supposed to change to, for her, I believe personally in relationships, no notes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Well, I don't give them. Don't get married. No, yeah. I know. That's why I don't think I would take, I could take it. You want yeah. an FX show, but what's out there is network. Yeah, yes. that's absolutely right. Yeah. I like just I'm I by the way, I don't give them. Yeah, I don't give notes. So yeah. like I it's all like as is. Yeah, I'm like a chef. that's like no substitution. <laughs> 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 but it's, it, they always come like right when you get comfortable. That's what's annoying. They always come like two to three months and you can't give notes out of the gate. So it's right. Correct. When you're, so it's right when you're kind of like in a place where you're like, oh, this is like kind of a cool person. And then yeah. they hit you and you're like. Fuck. Yeah. What's that old quote? Um, I thought we were going straight to series. <laughs> <laughs> What's that old quote? Women. Oh shit. Pull women this up. expect mar women get married to change. Expecting men. a man to change and men. Yeah, men. We're it, like, should, it should autofill by now. Come yeah. on, Google. <laughs> <laughs> I married you because I liked you. You're marrying me, hoping I'll be married. different later. It's kind of a weird. Women marry men hoping they'll change. Men marry women hoping they will not. Yes. So, so each is inevitable. And that's Einstein, for Christ's sake. That's but we're doing great comedy quotes. Nick Griffin's Einstein bit. Yep. You know that one? Really yeah. No. About how Einstein's divorced, they should tell you that. Oh it, yeah. it shouldn't be do you take this woman to be your lawful what a wife. It should be do you think you're smarter than Einstein? <laughs> that's brilliant. Nick Griffin <laughs> underrated. Nick Griffin. Some of the most philosophical relationship bits out there is Nick Griffin. Absolutely. It's insane. Totally. But that joke about the pool the dating pool when you're young when you're in your twenties, it's it's like Adult Swim, and then in your forties, it's like a like a public pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking it up, but that's the yeah. basics of it. He's like, got just, so many of my. Favorite he's, jokes. I know, I know. But you know what it is? It's it's makeup. Like you know, a woman's like, ah, oh, I gotta go out. I don't want to go out. I gotta put makeup on. That's how you feel on your phone. You're like, oh, I don't want you to see me without the makeup. Yeah. You know, charm is men's makeup almost. Absolutely, but I was thinking you were gonna go the other way, which is you don't want to go you don't want to go to a party because you don't want to put on makeup yes you don't want to have to be you don't want to not say jew yeah yeah <laughs> exactly oh you got to listen to small talk and all that but it's you gotta oh get out you don't say you gotta be yeah, on a little that's, bit uh, that's our concealer makeup. that's yes. your concealer going, oh you don't say is like a bit of under <laughs> eye <laughs> yeah and then you say like that's stupid that's your makeup cracking a little you know <laughs> but is it also yeah. that you're in your head and you don't want to be disturbed that's part of it. Yeah. That's alone time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, a buddy of mine used to call it, his name is Robert, he would call it Bobby time. Bobby <laughs> like time. Like, I need some Bobby time. But totally. It's, but also, it is embarrassing, to your point, like, how we spend our days. Oh, yeah. It's embarrassing. When someone's like, what do you do today? Or when someone goes, you must be so busy, and then you flash back to what you've been doing, you're like, oh, I'm very busy. Meanwhile, yeah. it's been, like, fucking looking at your toenails for an hour yeah yeah, um, yeah. scrolling and, youtube yeah uh but, but and, being just just being can feel busy sometimes just being that's alone true can, just that can drain you just think our job is to just be in your head and you train yourself to be in your head and think of jokes and then being with another person and kind of breaking that rhythm after you make a living at this it's it can be exhausting yeah, I mean, uh, Roy Wood said that. He said, 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 when do you write? And he goes, I'm always writing. I'm in the shower, I'm writing. I'm at the store, I'm writing. Because you're just like, oh, what's up with Cocoa Pebbles? Cereal's in a bag now? Or loofahs are weird. You're always <laughs> thinking about comedy. No, it is that thing where people are like, you always on? You're like, I'm always something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm always I don't, computing. I'm not trying to go for bits unless I have, I mean, I find with interacting with people, like, I try to do as little as I have to. Yes. And then people, like, when they're engaged, then it's like, okay, now I'll do something. But yes. You can conserve Otherwise, I'd rather energy. slip through it. Yeah. We, uh, had, uh, we had Nate on, and he was kind of a low energy. And I was like, come on, Nate. And he was like, I'm doing Fallon later. I'm like, oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> oh, he didn't want to, like, blow his. He, he was great. And he's, I love Nate. I've known him for years, but I felt like he was more low energy than normal. And I was like, oh, he's doing Fallon. He's got to, like,. Like Save no it up. Sex before the fight. Yes, yeah, so sex before the fight. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. No, analogy. no podcast before Fallon. You yeah. know the old saying. <laughs> um, he also did not like Mark farting on him. That's true. That's do you <laughs> fart? Is that like a thing you do? I mean, if I is got that a farted. segment? It is a segment. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>
Um, yeah, what am, when does that happen? Do I get warned? <laughs> well, he went to the bathroom, and I, uh, I've i known Nate. I've known Nate for 20 years, and then... Still no excuse. And he was like... <laughs> Do we have the clip of Nate's response to it? It was ugly. Because we played it a couple of times. Just, I, he's a comic. I figure, hey, I'm not farting on uh, Chomsky. I'm with him. <laughs> I, I would be... I, a friend of mine farted around me, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Uh, like, I got, like, mad. And I said, like, oh, I forgot how old you are. <laughs> Cause he's in his twenties. Oh, we've oh, been we've is. been on a tour bus lately. There, there's a lot of farting. That's going fun. On. It's what? you can't you can't be that. You gotta just embrace it. You know. Yeah. I would I would have rules about what compartment you can fart in. That's actually okay. not a bad. That's fair. Like if yeah. you gotta go by the bunk. Gary's bunk. Go hang out by the bunks, <laughs> yeah. you monster. Yeah. Like, but not in the common areas. Well, I was telling him I was on a bus with Bert, <laughs> Joey Diaz, Big Fuck. J, Shane Gillis, and me. It was. First of all, it was a fart off, and it was like a sleep apnea convention. Oh, that's so funny! It, it was wild. Just five bunks full it's like of the being fattest, in a, drunkest... literally in a fucking bear cave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Um, that's uh, it? let's see. This is a tell wouldn't stay on the bus. Oh, really? Here we go. Uh, I was in the look at that this. face. That is the that's face the of death. The more you can do this, the more you get to talk about. The more you know, it's. It, it, it's more it's more whatever it is right hold on <laughs> 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 the head shake he actually meant it oh he was pissed fuck that's he funny he just looks sad yes, yeah yeah sad and I like my dad's not coming I gotta back. say Nate's gotten cuter when he oh, he's so really hot. cute and he lost weight and the gray works for him no drinking yeah that's what did and it. uh and he's really like having a really great second act yes yes <laughs> to exactly. life well and the money too it doesn't hurt the money probably isn't killing him yeah although it's like eminem if he had like a, a cbs sitcom or i something. could see it yeah. like, like a funny. country eminem the uh he's getting to the point where he probably has more money than he knows what to do with them oh yeah the like, arenas like is he doing arenas? He's doing the Bridgestone coming up. That's that, he's doing Nashville. arenas in like weird cities too, like places that don't have in a lot of In cities I couldn't sell out a, a club. Exactly. He's doing arenas. He's doing arenas. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, that um, Neil guy, he knows black yeah. people. Yeah, that's exactly. Um, we should stay away. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. That's what I knew, Nate. They could see me in the corner laughing at his that's uh, funny. joke about He, that tobacco. guy, loved farting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that fat fuck. That guy, that fat fuck <laughs> loved farting. And wings. Yep. And like, I don't know what. <laughs> His favorite I mean, show is My Name yeah. is Earl. But the best part is that Nate is in the middle of like what he thinks is a, an important thought. Yeah. There, yeah. And Mark just goes, hold on. <laughs> like, the just the disrespect. Oh, Gotta bring some levity on. here. <laughs> Everybody's the star of their own, their own uh, no. operation. Exactly. You were having a fart. You were doing a fart sitcom. And we, was... we talked about your special on, on this podcast before. Killer! We both, we both really liked it Thank a lot. Thank you very much. Killer! Yeah, it's really, you very really, much. really funny. You both... Text. You know what's interesting is, and you guys will maybe not this special, but the special after that. Although you people stop watching your specials. Yeah, of course. People mean not like viewers. People stop complimenting you. Oh, I see. So it's nice when you get comics. I mean, comic stuff. They just go like, oh yeah, oh yeah, you got one. It just becomes like right. a thing. Whereas, because it feels like homework to watch specials. Yes and no. Yeah. It feels like. I know we mean like op opposition research, but at the same I don't time, mean like, like that. No, I no, mean, but I mean, I mean like, but I also mean like I like comedy. Yeah. Right? So it is. There is a part of me that it is homework, but like I only watch comedy and documentaries, so I don't mind. I'm happy when like oh a good exactly a good comedian is gonna do comedy. Like great, give me. Yeah, because there's so many specials and so many bad ones. But I don't know, want Sam's. too many jokes in my. <laughs> I don't want too many jokes in my head. Thankfully, it was only forty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Forty three. Ah. But uh, uh, but uh, you know, I. By the way, you know, I, I'm sick of putting out long specials. I'm kind of just like, why? Why are we? I'm with that you. Much. I I don't think it. Helps. I see comics putting out like an hour twenty, and I'm like, all the data saying that people are gone by the 20th minute yeah. exactly exactly bill bird's an hour and a half i'm like bill save that last story well he Do it on the road he, i mean he's a he can phenom, rant it out yeah i mean his, his last one was killer too but i mean uh but i also am very late to specials like it'll take me like a year to watch a new special a yeah. lot of the time but mark was like you got to watch neil's new one you got to watch neil's new one so I was like, okay so i was like i made a point to watch it and i was like man it's just really uh 
great observational jokes, man. Like I love the when I hear a premise that's been done to death yeah. and there's a new spin. Yes. That's why I love the dog rescue joke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. You found you found an angle that's like those are my favorite. Like well, I don't want to call any premise hack, but when it feels right. like a premise, I'm like, oh, here we go. Well, it's yeah. like no one was allowed to do airplane jokes for 15 years until Louis did exactly. his. Like you're a like a Greek god flying through the air. Like give it a sec. That thing. Yes. Yeah. Literally, you were a hack if you did airline jokes before that. So and then, true. And then he did it. And Sebastian had a decent airline joke. List just is about a great airline. Bit oh yeah, that's too. right. Joe List. I mean, there's people yeah. who have great airline bits, but it's like, you know, I, yeah, I hear you. Premises. But then it's also like you could you can make the argument that like marriage jokes are hacked. But then it's like all right, but then watch like Tom Papa or Ray yeah, Ramon, yeah. Right? People have great marriage jokes, you know. Yeah, people go like, why do you make fun of men and women? And I'm like, because <laughs> Patrice called me and told me I was good at it. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, Rock and Patrice told me I was good at it. Do you mind? Right, yeah. right. Do you mind s- <laughs> some guy if I keep doing? They people think it's people from the outside can notice like airline jokes are hacky or gender jokes are hacky relationship or whatever and it's like and race jokes are tacky oh you still doing that white people black people shit yeah i'm pretty good at it yeah they both well still you exist. have one of, you have one of my favorite ones of those too the joke about uh you know white people what we've done felonies why are you, why are you calling us a misdemeanors which how does that one go again you know oh white people you stole uh you stole jazz yeah, that's actually not my joke. I don't think. No, it is. It's your bit. I remember. I remember this bit. For, it's, it's oh, that's that is a good. Up. No, that's I because I'm thinking of. That's great. I feel like a young Mark Norman, where <laughs> people are telling me bits I've done. Well, you had the one about riding the back of the squad car. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a great. But you know one. what I'm talking about? When you say you stole jazz. You're like, yeah, we've done felonies. Why are you calling us on misdemeanors? That's a great joke. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's yeah, a Neil Brennan. That that's joke. great. Good for me. Yeah. Um. That was. I was like a good race. Race jokes are tough. Yeah. yeah, they are harder to pull off because you can't work on them as easily. You can't workshop them because you do all white rooms. Now, <laughs> um, you got that yeah, right. so, so thank you for watching. They're called rallies. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, I love Pete's Girl. That Pete's oh, Girl yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah. You know what joke is good when I'm writing and I'm like, how did that Pete's Girl go joke go? Because I want to like see the formula. Yeah, like sometimes Gaffigan has a lot of jokes where I'm like, that formula is so good. I didn't know you could do jokes like that. You know, like yes. David tells, uh, I used to do drugs, but that was way over there. <laughs> That's such a yeah. great joke. And I'm like, oh, I, I mean, didn't know the you could best, do jokes uh, like that. The be- if you said, what's the best joke ever written? Uh, a tells joke. I'm, I'm afraid to travel. Maybe because when I was a kid, my father beat me with a globe. Yes, it's like. And I didn't even say it right. Amazing. Like, fucking flawless joke. Right. So there are certain guys where when you're writing, you're like, oh, he already got here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> ah, fuck. For I feel right. bad for black comics having to write against Chappelle and Rock yeah. and Patrice because it's like, oh, they like, they're all on the same crime scene. Right. <laughs> and those guys keep finding the murder weapons. They, and like uh, other guys are like, oh, fuck. That's a great point. Yeah, they got um, the collar. Yeah, like ah, oh, I had a I had a hair follicle. Yeah. Like no, I have the gun. <laughs> yeah, no one touches rock on angles. He always has the angle where you're like, oh, how did we all miss that one? It's yeah. right. He had the angle uh, when the whole Bill Clinton Monica ha- thing happened, and I've never seen a special by the way. I saw it live. He was like, uh, Hillary's running for president. Why would you want to work in the place you got cheated on? If, yeah. If my girl cheated on me at Bennigan's, I ain't applying at Bennigan's or whatever the hell the wow. joke was, and I'm like. That was right there. Nobody caught that. He got it. He told me not to open with that dog joke. Really? Yeah. He's like, you can't open with a dog joke. I'm like, it's a new one, though. Yeah, right. Well, why did he say that? Because it's a dog. Because he was sub- subscribing to the thing of uh, once you've done, it's hacky. So you can't. Mm. Uh, I, I know what he means by, uh, I open with it, by the way. But like, I know what he means by, um, if you ever watch a special and someone goes down one of these lanes, you're like, oh boy. Yeah, yeah. And I think there's a bit of that in the audience also, where there's a little bit of a like, bit. what are we, like, you can't, certain topical shit, you guys are smart that you hire someone in the crowd to yell out a topic. <laughs> um, plants are getting expensive. Where, I mean, what are they, 150 a show, a show now? It's Brutal. fucking. Hey, hey, folks, Black Tux, baby. We're brought to you by Black Tux. I wore these at the wedding. We got measured. We got some in the mail. We're going to wear it on the show. We're pumped. 
Black Tux makes it super easy to get top quality guaranteed to fit tux without leaving the house. Just take the Black Tux fit quiz. Pick your style and boom, your tux is delivered 10 days before the day you need it. Plenty of time to try it on and make sure it wears you well. Thanks to the Black Tux fit guarantee. If it doesn't fit perfectly, order a better size within a day of receiving the less than great fitting one, and they'll send another one right away at no extra cost. Holy shit. That's incredible. Scroll up, will you? Um, yeah, here you go. I, I love black tux. I wore them at my wedding, and I wore them at my wedding after party. I got a red velvet blazer. It, was it looked a, good as hell. We got pics you. in it together. Yeah, those are pull cool. those. Sally took some beauties. Uh, hold on. I need the copy. All right. Rent or buy. Oh, wait. If you prefer the in-store experience, the Black Tux has showrooms all across the country. Their expert fit specialist will help you find the perfect style and make sure it fits just right. Rent or buy. The Tux is the best place to go when you need a tuxedo for a wedding or a special night. And right now, when you go to theblacktux.com slash drunk and use code drunk, you'll save $20 off your order. That's... T H E B L A C T U X. Jesus. Dot com slash drunk. Code drunk to save 20 bucks. Hold on. Black Tux. Oh, geez, hey, hey, really? hey. Black Tux. Oh, boy. <laughs> Cut it. Quit. Black Tux. Black Tux. com slash drunk. Promo code drunk. All right. Jeez. Hey, look at that red velvet, baby. You look good. And I bought those cut fleur de cufflinks the day of. We look cool there, dude. I look wrecked. I was really, uh, really hurting that, that night. Yes. But uh, I had to get, get get through the wedding, you know. The worst thing in the world is going to the emergency vet at 3 a.m. Because you didn't know something was wrong with your cat. That's why I use Pretty Litter to keep tabs on my cat's health mm. the odor you should have read this one mark mm. the odor trapping crystals change color to alert you to possible health problems i treat my cat like my child so pretty litter's health detector helps me to be a proactive about my cat's well-being uh do i have a cat possibly uh, you don't I know do. if i do or don't yeah mark does it's so much easier to use than regular cat litter too pretty litter super light crystals Minimize the mess and dust, and the crystals last up to a month, so you're not constantly having to scoop the cat box. Pretty Litter helps keep my cat healthy and keeps odors down. You and your cat are going to love Pretty Litter as much as we do. Go to prettylitter.com slash drunk to save 20% on your first order. That's prettylitter.com slash drunk to save 20%. Prettylitter.com slash drunk. I use this. It is good stuff. Cat shits on it every day. All right, all right. Today's episode is sponsored by PayPal Honey. The easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer when you learn about a sale on the sly. You feel like a boss. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. It supports over 30,000 stores online, ranging from tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery. I love honey. I've saved money on shoes, sweaters, uh, booze, you name it. Anything you can buy online. Imagine shopping on your favorite site when you check out the honey button appears and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as honey searches for the coupons it can find. If honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch prices drop. Oh, yeah. I love this. I use it all the time. Oh, yeah. Honey's good. We love honey, and you will, too. I never go shopping without it. Honey doesn't work on just on desktops. It's on your iPhone, too. Activate it on Safari or your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out on deals. Uh, buy honey. Wait. I'm getting it. Oh, by getting it. You're getting yourself a solid and supporting the podcast. Get honey. PayPal for free at joinhoney.com slash WMB. That's joinhoney.com slash WMB. WMBD. Oh, jeez. WMBD. Joinhoney.com. We might be drunk. WMBD. Sorry. Uh, I've been drinking. WMD. What is, what is this? Weapons of mass destruction? I'll tell you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> no, no. Um, the, uh, the, Keep it. 
the uh keep it in um the uh, i had nothing to do with any of this <laughs> um i'm just minding my own business um, uh, you're like mike myers right now you bush does not care about black people <laughs> uh the uh you you can't uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Uh, rock the dog joke. Oh yeah, that you once you hear it, you kind of roll your eyes and like sure. you kind of. So you want he wanted you to earn. Oh no, you can't talk about like you, you can't talk about like rock and Will Smith. You had like a day. Yeah, of course. Before the audience was like, what? Yes. <laughs> like, yes. ugh, what are you talking about? And I know. Even if you're kind of like Chris can't. I know. <laughs> it's hacky for him, and he was there. Right, It right. was his face. That, like, I'm sure he will, but I'm saying. Oh, my God. He's, people are still making references great. to it, and you're like, all right. You know, and then that's his life. Like, I, I can't imagine every day people just being like, so what, like, here's what I thought about it. And he's probably like, <laughs> fuck off. Just yeah, like, I'm, I'm sure it's unbearable. The problem is audiences are getting so savvy now with Reddit and all these cunts on the, the, the blogs and whatever. Like, they just know about comedy. So they'll be like, oh, that's hacky. And I'm like, you guys didn't know about hacky. Yeah. They even know about hacky. They know about tags. They'll be like, oh, that's a good tag. I'm like. You're like a guy yeah. in a cubicle. You're just saying tag. But, but it's also good that they're this. Savvy it's good because I'll take out a notebook on stage sometimes, and they start applauding. Like they, oh, they really? Like, they like that I'm wow. working shit out. Sometimes oh, maybe they think you're throwing your act out. <laughs> Get this: they'll listen to podcasts about it about yeah. it i, I couldn't if you imagine can fucking believe it where they get drunk <laughs> um <laughs> two yeah, in a day was, baby uh no but that's taking the toll of my it, life but it's all the same but it is all the same like that's why it's it's all like the level of popularity and to your earlier point of like there is no other category no one talks yeah no I know. one's communicating it's ideas true. besides comedians and like politicians a little bit yeah and even that's censored and yeah you know, caged and in. and i'm not saying like we're the modern day philosophers no. they're trying to, it's just a but you see like why people go to 10 comedy shows a year yeah it's like yeah you'll if you seinfeld had a great joke about uh everyone at the comedy show is the funny person in their group uh. <laughs> where it's like you guys all think you're funny Right. You're like the funny one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they're all the funny. And then they get to go and watch uh, someone who's like, my, all right, he, he's funnier than me. But like right. most of these comedians yeah. are not better than me. A couple of them. But uh, it is scary. Like, you know, black friends are like, you're like hanging out with them. You're like, oh, man, this is all better than my act. <laughs> and then I'll see guys on Twitter. I'll write a joke on Twitter that I'm like kind of proud of. And some guy will go, you should have said this. And I'm like. Yeah, he's right, and this is some guy in Ohio, you yeah. know, with two kids. Yeah, but how much? You, you're, it's rare, we're but it happens. We're in some of those tweets. That's so true. Like, that's look, true. let's be honest. Some of these tweets are fine, <laughs> <laughs> um, and some of these are two for deals with the plants. You go, you'll get it's one fifty. <laughs> You'll yell out a premise and you'll do a tweet <laughs> the next day. I was proud of that. Uh, hey, R. Kelly's not getting COVID nineteen. Too old for him. Tweet. <laughs> no, joking. Good for you. Thank um, you. We're just like two friends watching and everybody like, whatever you got to do, pal. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you got to do to get off. God. Yeah. Well, that's where the business is now. Is where I'm like, oh, I haven't tweeted in two days. Let me throw something up just so people don't forget I'm alive. Yeah. Do you? How often do you? Well, you guys. Are never not on the road, right? No, oh, like every weekend. But like you're, you never, you don't go like I release a special now I'll stop. It's for tough. A bit. I, I what get, else do we do? Yeah, I kind of. Well, no, no, no. Or just stay in the city and write. I don't I write. We've talked about this. Where I don't really write well at home. I don't. The cellar's a tough place to write for me because you're literally following some new guy who's got a killer fifteen. Yeah, and right. He's, and he's just ripping. I go up there and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open mic it. I can do new shit, but I I write better on the road. Same. Or if I do an hour in one of those side rooms at the cellar. And but, you yeah. get that hotel room that's just quiet and empty. Yeah, you kind of can do nothing but work and jack off, and you're like, I'm not jacking off. I'm working. That's yeah. like no, that's like no jacking off for those first couple of weeks. Maybe like a late night one. When, now you're when writing my, bits about jacking. Tell off. me more yeah. about this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so there I was, <laughs> the best western. <laughs> this is interesting. Now, what is just no? But I am curious. What do you mean you won't jack off? No, I just will try to like work. I'm like next three hours, like just work, just fucking. You ever, work. you ever take like fifty minutes of you jack off and you you take fifty, yeah, fifty minutes, and you're like, why did I just fucking spend that much time? Totally, because you were using your mind and not watching porn. 
Know. No. No. Oh, you're no. That video's not I'm perfect. like that. I could really. Do yeah. Fifty minutes. Oh, yeah. It happens. You learn from us. <laughs> um, uh, but and you're like, what did I just do? Yeah. I think that's we're doing foreplay with ourselves. Oh. Yeah. But also keeping a boner for fifty minutes at, I mean, at our right? age. At our age, pretty good. You do have to pick at a certain point. You meet those people who still play video games, and I'm like, you can't jack off and play video games. That's a good point. When do you get shit done? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's you guys play video games. No, I don't touch them. I I'm I in have the, same the boat. console and I never use it. I just don't play it. Good. I I that's a funny thing that I never thought of. That that may be why we are in the higher percentile. Oh, interesting. Joke, jokes written. Because yeah, I right. don't, I at a, fifteen years ago I was like I can't do this. Yeah, I literally can't. You just feel I can't live another life. Yes, I yeah. can't be a character and go like I got a new shirt. <laughs> <laughs> My character just I got a new pack. <laughs> right, with right. they got the uh, the cr the uh, funny socks. Yeah, and the like I can't I cannot. Well, it's the same feeling after you jack off where you're like. What was that for? Why did I do that? You know what I mean. At least, have you, do you not have orgasms? Uh, <laughs> I do, but question. do you not have regret? Not after a jerk. Not after a good uh, uh, a little jerk. Jerk. Good fifty a minute, fifty five. Are you guys hour? watching of age porn? Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> um, you got any links? <laughs> uh, cut it. <laughs> um, uh, for Clip his it. sake. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't regret jerking. I mean, I the only thing I regret is the time I wait ten, spent. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. But it also feels like a silly to do it. If in you like jack three off for minutes. fifty straight minutes, right. you're not like fuck. I could have been. You don't have that writing guilt where you're like. Well, I it's just we. But I want to enjoy. Look, how much time do you have? <laughs> Sam, I want to enjoy. I need to know more. Are you wearing like this hat while like you're jerking off? Three minutes. <laughs> I don't want to fucking just do three minutes. Yeah. That yeah. feels like weird. Yeah. A like, quickie with yourself is weird. What? A quickie with yourself yeah, is no, weird. Yeah, no, exactly right. Yeah. So we got to find a, uh, a middle ground. That's like I, you're coming out and doing your closer. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. you got to open up. Eight minutes. Yeah. Got to pull the Eight notes minutes. out. Twelve. Yeah. But it is sad when you get too into a jerk, like you got a one leg up on the bathroom <laughs> counter and you're in the mirror and you're sweating and the water's been running for a while and you're like, oh, you jizzed on the sink. You've been married too long. <laughs> this, is, yeah. this is a year ago. <laughs> the maid screaming housekeeping. Yeah. Like, Fuck you. <laughs> that that helps me. <laughs> um, do you somebody, I won't say who it was, but I at Montreal one year, this is slightly related. He had sex with the maid. What? <laughs> at the hotel. And he's like, afterward, I wanted to cry. It was such a miracle. Oh, my yes. God. Was this, like, never happened. Was this wow. a Silvio Berlusconi new face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Who it is is crazy. Wow. That's so, really? Like, it's, he's not like, oh, Ralphie yeah, May? that guy. It's, it's like, not categorically that different from Ralphie Mack. Whoa. So. Uh, yeah so pretty great uh, it's very fun. That's uh, fun. Big wow J. lavelle crawford i didn't know you had it in you son of a big gun um anyhow Who's so there? so you guys you, so how do you write jokes I'm kidding um <laughs> what's your process so you guys never and do you feel like the people at the beginning of the tour get a shittier show than the people at the end of the tour I don't know. There's a difference because the beginning of the tour, you're all amped up. By the end of the tour, I'm grizzled. I'm hungover. I'm all the gay. jokes work. Yeah, the jokes <laughs> work. But I'm about to do a special. And I'm terrified of this new beginning, like the whole starting over thing. Like yeah. you just started over. So did you. Well, I was lucky yeah. that I had. I wrote the show kind of before COVID. Oh. So then I would like put jokes in during. Mm -hmm. So when I was done, I had like 40. Damn. Oh wow! I don't think I've Thirty ever been to forty. In that I've ever. never been to that. Yeah. That's why I was able to go on tour. Neilbrand Uh I was able to go on tour like immediately, like while I was having a like a hit of yeah press. I was like, oh, put tickets on sale. Wow, that's really nice. What about you? Because are you going out there with new shit? I'd say like forty-five of it's pretty good, and then the rest of it is, you know, I'll, I'll throw an old bit, a topical bit. I'll. I'll figure stuff out you know? yeah. do people know that it's an old bit can you I, tell in the laugh like ah there's a bit of they know this maybe some of them do but at the same time like you know uh 
I do it at the very end, so it's kind of like they're yeah. like, oh, whatever. It's like you know, I don't think they care. They also yeah. at this point with like the whiskey and the podcast and like the sort of. They just want to spend time with you guys. I know, I know. They want to. They just want to be around you, which is dangerous because we've. <laughs> I've seen a lot of comics go from comic and then podcast is their main main thing after a while, and you want to stay. I think comic first. Yeah, um, but so, I don't know how to avoid it because Burr has had a podcast his whole. But he's always. Run. Comedy. That's what I'm saying. Like his, it never. I don't know what he does on the like. Well, he there are people on the podcast that you can, alone though, which is like. Uh, it is kind of like Marin's opening too. It's st- kind of figuring out a bit. You can kind sure, of yeah, see, sure. you know, yeah. So I'm always curious. Like, you can tell when someone podcasts a lot because they get huge responses for something you don't understand. Exactly, exactly. They do uh, inside jokes and stuff. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, yeah you guys bad. know my pet mouse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Um, we have to take a vow today to never fall into that trap, guy. <laughs> <laughs> um. So blocks the podcast. Yeah. And how's uh, marriage? Oh yeah, it's it's the same. It's the same. But now if you fuck, we fucked in the living room last night, and it was like, oh wow, this is <laughs> this is new again. You How know? did you end up? Well, I don't want to get too much. Uh, but yeah, I'm an open. Do you pamphlet. never? How often were you fucking two years ago, and how often are you fucking now? Well, uh, I'd say two years ago, it was probably like, I don't know, twice a week, three times mm-hmm. a week. And then now it's probably the road is tough and good because when you come back, you immediately bang because right. I'm all like, I got to uh, I can't walk straight. I'm so you're doing the guy up. from The New York Times that Trump was doing the impression. of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm doing late uh, Muhammad Ali. But um, <laughs> but yeah, so then then you get that immediate bang, which is good. Yeah. But then you kind of have your married thing where you're like, well, we banged. Right. So we're good for a couple of nights. That was like today, right? Yeah. Like, that was three days ago. Exactly, exactly. You, is it is there like a time or do you make a move or do you say, do you want to fuck? What's the... We try to do... We the, I heard a good piece of advice. Keep dating after you're married. Other people. No. Keep dating <laughs> um, your wife. So like I took her out. We went to a jazz club. We got a couple drinks. And then uh, I was making an athletic green in the kitchen while drunk. And she uh, made a promo move. called fucking <laughs> <laughs> banging. Yeah, <Go> exactly. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, we went at it. Reminds and, me of this uh, date I went on the other day. I was I just went on stamps.com. <laughs> and uh, man, it got her in the mood. It was crazy. Oh, that stamp won't fall off the letter. I'll tell you that. It'll be sticky. Have but, you guys yeah. had purple carrot? <laughs> <laughs> now, a- when I'm which, cooking a meal with a new gal... <laughs> <laughs> is one of my favorite things to do. That's what I call my erection, too. The purple <laughs> carrot. <laughs> but yeah. After that, you might need a blue apron. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I think it helps. Uh, I heard Gary Goldman say, like, during the pandemic, we were all kind of getting a little stir-crazy and whatnot. He goes, shave, guys. If you shave, it, like, keeps you sane. And I think with a lady, if you're married, she was, like, wearing high heels and these thigh-high things and all that cleavage. So she got all dolled up. And I think that made her more into it as yeah. well. So that, that was a part of just it. the the cleavage and the thing was that the other night or that was that just was the other night. COVID. So great. like she was looking great and she felt great because women have a thing where like I can't have sex if I don't feel sexy. It's so isn't it Which the craziest? Is, I've never felt sexy it's in my so life. It's so weird where they're like I don't feel sexy. You're like fucking get in line. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's not the point of this. The yeah. point of this is not to feel yeah. sexy. I'd be a virgin. Oh, I think said not to feel safe for a second. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I related to that too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, me neither. <laughs> You'll leave yeah, at like, some point. Hey, Sam, what did you laugh at in that joke? <laughs> hey, Sam, can I speak to you for a second over here? <laughs> Um, yeah, you don't, yeah, that thing of they have to, I'm also, it's a thing I've noticed about women, again, this is so, like, broad and hacky, like, women's outfits, but they think outfits are, like, an opening move, they think it's an activity. Oh, interesting. They think it's, like, if we go, like, we took a helicopter to the party. Right. We dropped in on a helicopter on the lawn. That's how they go, like, well, I was wearing those heels. Right, right. Or, like, I was wearing my red uh, caftan or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, Uh, you're so right. It's a weird thing where it's, like, a big, it's, like, the first, the opening chess move. Totally. And she'll be like, we have this event 
coming up. I have no clothes. That's I'm like, all, they... all you do is buy clothes, and you have no clothes now? Yeah. You have two closets full of horse Danger shit. you got three closets full of nothing to wear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to come out of one. But, uh, but yeah, it's like all these clothes. And she's like, I need, a, I need an outfit. It's like having needing a new car or something. Well, that, that's exactly right. They, it's, they, maybe it's like new bits. Maybe it's like new bits. Where yeah. they want, they when we say we have, like we, if we have to speak at an event, that's the same amount of pressure exactly. as them. Like, oh, I got to give a toast. They're like, I have to give, the, my outfit is a toast. Right, mm. right. Like they have, I. it's like, yeah, there's something like weirdly, like what do you think is happening? Yeah, but someone so else true. made your toast. Yeah, but like, they well, wear it. To say nothing, yeah. yes. Yeah, yes. but she'll watch all these 90 Day or what The Bachelor and um, Housewives, all these retarded shows, and I'm like, why do you watch it? She's like, I love the outfits. She's lo looking at their outfits like we look at bits. Like, oh, that's well, a great did bit. Did people tell you about your, did they like your outfit on the Netflix? Mine? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. had a, a cool outfit. Yeah. But no, but people say, like women especially, go like, I really liked your shirt. Yeah. And like, uh, yeah. my shirt. Look at this thing. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, people are like, what are you going to wear? Really, like, I don't know. No iron. Really, yeah, I don't really... see the big deal about shirts. Gay Dracula written across this <laughs> wrinkle. What's the big deal Did with you shirts? Did wake up with a dumpster today? What the hell happened? I get it because fashion's important to me also, gay Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> it was a free shirt. So somebody's band they sent me. Uh, I like a, a raglan or whatever you call these, but it's just wrinkled. Yeah, it'll iron out. <laughs> You're wearing the same shirt next week. It says Fart Nugget. Well, anyway. <laughs> that's, that's another band. Uh, I do feel like the three of us have the same. It maybe it's a call it autism, call it really liking comedy. Yeah, like whenever I hear some, someone go, someone will send me a clip of like these guys talk about you guys. I remember you guys going like, oh, that fucking guy's uh, it's got a great life." Yeah, <laughs> like talking about me having a bunch of comedy activities, doing different comedy oh, shit. That's hilarious. And but it's I ag I agree with you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I agree with you about like yeah, this is fun. It's the best. And it's like a exciting. I'm excited that I'm in comedy. Well, that's Same. why you don't need to play video games. You don't need a second life because you like your life. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's Good not going to be better than going to the club and getting a huge fucking laugh. Yeah. yeah and right, then getting a new bit to work. And that's a, that's what I'm talking about, the regret and the shame from the, the master being. I know I need to do it to clear shit out, but I still feel shame because I'm like, nothing makes me feel as good as a new joke will make me feel that right. night, you know? But you can right. you... Squeeze a joke out like that? Pardon them. <laughs> don't fart. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mark, Hold don't. On. I know right. you look. I know you wanna. I know your your asshole is doing a Roger Rabbit right now. Uh, that's the uh, burp. That's the compromise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? It can work. Um, no, it's hard to write new jokes, but that, I think the challenge then is like, well, can I at least get like a good topical one? Something that's like I get extra points because I clearly wrote it that day. Yeah, like a headline thing. Yeah. It's like, even if it's not great, it's just keeping your shit tight. The The machine is going to stay strong if I keep working at it. Every right. Day. It's also boring if you don't have a new joke. I'm yeah. so Like, bored. there are nights where if I go to the st store, I live in L.A., uh, we have a seller in L.A. called The Store, and uh, and uh, if I had don't have a new joke, I'm like, what am I doing this for? I feel that way, too. <laughs> like, right. what am I, to, I know it works. So what am I doing? I'm calibrating it. Like, Again, there's something to be said for like just getting on stage and doing it, but if you don't have a, at least a new line or something, it's like, what the fuck am I? I know. Like, you feel I'm, bad about yourself, and and that you say like you know, Mark and I will have people yell shit out and stuff, but we it is boredom because we are on the road every week, and it's like, how many times can I do these jokes? I need to challenge myself. I need to, I need to come up with something new. It it's boredom from that new forty five that I'm just like. What else is I need something else? Yeah. I see guys, I love my ex so much. <laughs> well, Every I, single word. How'd those eighties guys do it? Like Leno was like, I'm not doing a special, I'm not giving it away. Yeah. And I'm like, Aren't you sick of it? Don't you wanna do a new thing about whatever? But he's he's got the his weird thing about I'd love Leno to get is, him on here and, and I would ask love him to have Leno that. on. He yeah. he I'll uh, I think he would do it. I think he would too. He's um, playing Burning Man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um 
the uh, the uh, <laughs> he's got a new injury is the problem. I know you're right. I got he's, update. That guy's staying topical with injuries. He'll he'll tickle your um, ribs. Uh, <laughs> All right, they're broken. Um, the uh, he's a. Uh, I was gonna say it, you've heard of blue collar comedy. Welcome to broken collar. Yeah, oh. <laughs> guys, come on! I gotta stay tight, guys. I, love it. I he uh, can take it on the chin. <laughs> All right. Um, the uh, he watches every special. Oh, he's a psycho. It's he loves Michelle. Hilarious. Wolf. It's really funny that he. It's just odd, like where he knows. He knows him. Yeah, he knows you too. If I he knows know. him, he knows you. Mm, wow, that's wild. Why would why would he know him and not you? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just low self esteem. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I'm. He watched my Comedy Central special. Like, really? He watches Amazon specials. Wow, that's how deep into comedy this guy is. He's I not touching Peacock though. No, Peacock's <laughs> a line too far. Yeah. Uh, nobody's that injured. Uh, <laughs> He's in the hospital bed. Turn it off. <laughs> Jay, we're all out of specials on Netflix. Uh, how about let's... Paramount Plus? <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> Peacock, put that new Cosby on. <laughs> um. I went to Cosby, one of his, I went to his Comedy Central special that I think they shelved. Oh, I remember that. Damn. That guy had excellent jokes. Well, he's a great comic. I mean, he's a fucking amazing comic. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> you know, if, yeah. a, if a NFL player hits their wife, the touchdown still counts. Yeah. Um, Clip it. <laughs> Har Harvey Weinstein, great movies. Yeah, yeah, great movies. Yes. Yes. Woody Allen. We yeah. go on and on. Yeah. There you go. Picasso. Um, yeah. Now you're going too far. Yeah, yeah. I'm drinking here. Please cut that. Uh, <laughs> Actually, please cut it because it's just I don't. I, nah, it's yeah. literally just going through people. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, Leno knows every comedian. Wow. Morgan, I love. I'm gonna be like that. I'm gonna be an old man in a rocking chair watching, you know, some twink do 20 minutes in a wheelchair. <laughs> Well, yeah. Do you guys? You guys don't want to. <laughs> There's so many that's questions about this new special. The future of comedy. Well, I'm just saying you got to have a, a, a hook. You know, he's gonna be like, I'm on it a roll. It sounds like he's whatever. got a couple. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the the Mark, Mark, Mark calls me. You gotta see Roller Twink. Yeah, this yeah. guy, <laughs> one of the best. Have you seen Roller Twink? <laughs> Roller Twink's got, gonna be there tonight. I'll be right down. <laughs> Hello, StubHub. Roller <laughs> <laughs> uh, Twink. Mark Norman is here to see you, that kid. Joke. Kid, you've got the goods. Oh. Hold, hold on a second. Let me. You know, you got jokes, but you got no legs. <laughs> that joke's got legs, though. Um, the uh, you want to like? I don't want to die doing comedy, but like. Just do it as long as. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you go, Don Rickles. You know, all the way but, to so the end. So do you feel like? Joan Rivers. Well, I guess there's like we don't have Rickles do, up there, by the way. Right, but Rickles, oh, yeah. Joan was doing good rooms. Rickles yep. was doing good rooms. Would you want to, like, at a certain point, if you felt like you were stuck at a certain like level that was too hard? Yeah, that would be tough. Like, would you keep doing it? Yeah, you want to be Rickles. You don't want to be Mort Saul, basically, at the end. Yeah. So was, well, what was he of, doing? I think he was just doing tough rooms. I don't think he was selling tickets. He wasn't really even doing tough rooms. He was doing a place in, like, uh, in Marin County. Oh, like a theater okay. once a week But people thing. swear he was Lenny Bruce. Like, he was that level He of was, funny. contextually. Yeah. No one had done that before. And a yeah. better writer, I'd say, than Lenny Bruce. I agree. There's a documentary about Mort Saul that's like... Oh, you know, really? Yeah. But what uh, is that? How did he just lose out. it? How did he lose all the momentum? Well, he was I, never huge, wasn't he? I met him. There was a wow. documentary called, I think, uh, You Gotta Be Something or The Loyal Opposition. Mm. Uh, Mort Saul. It's S A H all. That's what I got. Um, just put so That's what I got, boss. <laughs> um, loyal Master. Opposition. That's oh, one. interesting. Uh, yeah, it's an American Masters Loyal Opposition. But I remember having it. And uh, me and Chappelle watched it, and then Whoa. we were like, we should put him in a sketch. Yeah. And he passed. What? Uh, he didn't like the sketch, or whatever. Mm. I think he didn't like the sketch. But apparently he he's one of those guys who doesn't think anyone's funny. Right, I can He see just that. got so like, fuck everyone, I'm... I think he was just a big narcissist, is my uh -huh. understanding of it. Wow, um, well, Woody Allen's hero. Yeah. Um, there's a funny Woody Allen story where if you can watch it, Bob Whitey directed it. Who did? Oh, uh, the who curb done guy. a ton of stuff. Yeah. Um, 
but and he just uh, Bob Whitey did a a uh, Vonnegut documentary. That's oh wow. Um, but uh, there's a funny Woody Allen Mort Hall story. I ended up meeting him. Went to she was like just kind of like cordial, but not especially like warm, respectful, or uh-huh. like just kind of like what do I I'll do. Like they tell me you're something, right, but I'm not right, gonna. Right. And uh, it, Woody Allen's story is, uh, Mortzall went to Woody Allen uh, premiere. This is how long ago this was. Uh, they used to open Woody Allen's movies, wow. and uh, there was a premiere <laughs> party, and uh, Mortzall went to the premiere party, and uh, the security guard wouldn't let him in. And he's like, tell Woody the guy who changed his life is here. Wow. And uh, Woody Allen came out and goes, Mort. Change it back. <laughs> so like, wow, that's a great line. Yeah. Um, funny, Holy funny shit. dudes. Um, but uh, but yeah, more. Yeah, you don't want to. You either want to just quit, Johnny Carson. You either want to be Johnny Carson, right? Where you like, dis- I'm not participating. But the idea of don't like, you think you'd be so bored? Well, it's I guess it's bored or humiliated. Or yeah. bored or like perpetually bruised ego. Yeah. Why? And, but and you want to end on a high note too. You don't do, want to be was, that fizzle think, out guy. Yeah, but look, I, I don't think Rickles or Joan were. They were doing good though. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying them to Mort Saul's. Like, would uh, you rather be? Do you get out like on a like dis, on a decline? Right. Or do you just stop doing it? And like Rodney would do dates, kind of. I think. Oh really. Like, but they were not regular. And then he'd go on Leno and do five minutes, and it was like, it yeah. Was, but yeah, it seems like how to end it. I saw Carlin in '01, and it was rough. That I we could tell by the way you said, oh. oh. <laughs> oh. It was at a casino though in Biloxi, Mississippi. Oh my god! So it wasn't yeah. his fault, but he got heckled for an hour, and he was just snapping on people, and he was trying to do like the I'm uptown, but I'm downloaded. <laughs> I'm back door, but I'm in front. <laughs> mode yeah, or whatever yeah. and they were just like ha ah, do the dirty words you know and he was like shut up you fucking cunt i'll put my dick right in your ass and all that and it was like whoa <laughs> but again it was at a casino but i was a huge carlin fan and seeing that was like a it was like a wake-up call like wow. oh comedy is rough yeah this like, is, this is maybe a the best ever <laughs> yeah this, <laughs> this is, is one brutal. of the best of all time and yeah. it was like he was cursing people out no one was listening people were throwing beer cans and shit i saw prior and speaking i'm like that's crazy and then i'm like i saw prior in a wheelchair. What? Oh, wow. Dave opened for him in wheelchair like ninety three. <laughs> he was he was a uh, wheelchair twink. That's exactly <laughs> right. Um and um but black, you know what I mean? Yeah. That um, helps. <laughs> yeah. It's a different it's kinda different than wheelchair twink. Hello, StubHub. <laughs> um the uh the and Dave opened for him and it was like uh he Pryor kinda couldn't he didn't have it. Like he didn't oh, have like no. he couldn't really uh remember his jokes you hate to see and it. he uh it was just kind of a bummer yeah it was, and people it became like a revival meeting where people kind of yelling out like we love you rich and all that stuff right but, but it was like a hard damn it was it was just like man life is wild i know it's so long they say that about bob dylan my friend saw bob dylan he's like it was it was rough like he can't understand him you, but mumbly. you couldn't i saw Bob dylan 20 years ago you don't even know what song it is till the third verse wow you're like oh is this fucking blowing in the wind <laughs> well they as long as you still get booked you can I still guess. work but like in sports you're not you don't see like Bill Russell wasn't playing True. five years ago. True. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of what it, it's like. And that's yes. almost better because yeah. you have to get out. But do you go to the places where people want to see you? I know. Like, do you go to block or do you go to like down markets? Yeah. And pretend that Oof. it's still. You almost need the Vegas because the Vegas will prop you up. They'll help you sell tickets. They'll, they'll, they'll be glitz and glamour. There's a little dignity to it almost. Carrot top. That's what Killing you're saying. It. Killing it. <laughs> yeah. I, but having said that, that's he has a pretty good life. Yeah. yeah. Also, Karadop's fucking funny. He's I don't, funny. Yeah, I he don't know why he out. became uh, the punchline for everyone. It just became like an easy one for people. The props, obviously. Yeah. And then, um, I tell you how it became the punchline, but I'm going to need a prop. Um, <laughs> uh, you, yeah, it's it became a punchline for people outside of comedy to know, like that that's a hacky reference or something. It's like right. the ch- exactly. where you at the chuckle hut and you're like, shut up. Exactly. And somebody made a great point on Twitter. They said, shouldn't it be carrot bottom? Cause he's the top of a carrot is green. 
Go just, on, then what they say. I'm just point. saying, it's a good point. I'm just not, it is uh, a good point. Hilarious, Twitter, this but... Twitter sounds pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was one of those guys that's, that had a brilliant I mean, tag on me. I mean, that's when you're like, what are you doing, dude? Well, I don't know. Him. Comedians Again, should not be on really. How do you... The, I said this to Taylor on... She did my podcast. You came up. I, like, uh, jokingly, whatever. Um, but, uh, but... I don't know, like, I I change sort of life philosophies pretty regularly. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, like, mm. he just was like, oh, let me try steroids. Yeah, <laughs> Let me yeah. see if that, it's like changing Trying your sound if you're a band. steroids is another, <laughs> he went another acoustic. level. Yeah, that's Right, there, there he's going with, like, a he's wearing makeup. I, how did my ex play into that? <laughs> 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 you just wanted to bring her up? She's on Roy. <laughs> no, no, because I, 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 I put it on Instagram yesterday about, like, just questioning your own behavior mm. like how should i approach really like i'm sure you deal with this where what i was saying earlier about relationships and you're like ah like me and bobby were talking about like is david spade a dream or like should i not do what spade has done in terms of relationships just never get married mm -hmm. be single I don't know. Interesting. And like, I don't fucking know. I, I change my mind all the time. I, think, I don't think there's like a prototype. I mean, it's what's right for you. And I think if you're growing, you don't know what the dream is. In five years, yeah. you might have a different dream. That's what I'm saying. Know? That's yeah. what, like, Carrot Top was like, steroids, fuck yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, look at Chappelle. Chappelle was like the skinny guy. <laughs> Go back to that picture of Spade. <laughs> Chappelle, was, he got bumped. He's yeah. having a good time. Look at How him. many, who are the uh, famous ones he's been linked to? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Okay. Doing great. So, uh, yeah, Spade like, is, yeah, Spade Dave, like Dave funny. at a certain point, like, so, no, I, Spade's yeah. fucking hilarious. I'm yeah. saying, yeah. like, as a lifestyle, how, I don't know how to be any, I don't know what to be. Right. I don't know. How to, so, like, with Karen, I'm like, I'm like yeah, I'm not going to fucking go to Vegas. Do you go on dates? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're trying, I mean, yeah. you're trying to meet people. Yeah. But there are times when I'll be on an app going, like, why am I, it's like, looking at like uh collectible sneakers where i'm like i don't need these fucking sneakers <laughs> i don't need like new this turkey low guy. dunks <laughs> yeah. i don't need the, the yeezy 750s <laughs> it's a fun idea yeah, yeah like I, a it's fun to them. look it's like past the time and right. like what are they charging yeah um <laughs> yeah. there's a little uncomfortable but, but like you know i but then i go like am i tricking them i don't think i'm tricking them but but you know like how you. to live is right. a, like a hard like you got it all figured out. Yeah, well, I'd say I mean, how many Bill Burr had a great bit about marriage being dumb, then cut to I him know. being married, and he's got like an hour and a half of overpopulation and has two kids. Exactly, and was like encouraging me to have kids, uh. which is like I was like, what do you what? I know. I mean, people, you know, they change. Shit. I agree, and, and it's what's good right now for Neil might not be good for him in five years. So yeah, you know, yeah, that's why I. Uh, that's why it's important not to endorse anything on your T-shirt. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. Gay Dracula. That may that may not be the coolest thing on earth five years from now. <laughs> <laughs> they can touch a kid. Who knows? Um, <laughs> well, you so, see those people who have like a Cosby tattoo, and you're like, oof. Uh, <laughs> that's got to be. That's a rough choice. Yeah. Um, I had a girl tell me that I it's it. I told the story on Rogan one time, but like I had a I my girlfriend. This in the two th mid two thousands was mentioned something like, uh, Doctor Cosby, and I was like, "What? What's that tone about?" Oh boy! And she's like, "Beautiful mixed girl," and I was like, "What's it?" And she's like, "Oh well, no, I met him on the street one time, and da, da, da. and uh, and I was like, he was fattening you up for the slaughter." Oh, of course. And she was like, "No, no, <laughs> That's no." Funny when they don't believe. And it. then when the story broke, I text her like, "What do you think of your boy now?" And she wrote back like. I think his wife knew about it, uh, and he. T I was supposed to meet him in Philadelphia one time, and I got the flu, thankfully. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so people changed my. I don't, I don't mind when a comic changes, but it bugs me when a comic changes to go with the flow. You know, I like when a comic like a Chappelle just was like, "I'm gonna be buff now," or Carrot Top. But when a like David Letterman, who I love, I feel like he was a little snarky and fun, and now he's kind of like. I don't want to get in trouble, and no, I'm going to play ball. Way. 
I think he's just he's older and he's kind of mellowed out. Well, you watch those old videos of him being like, yeah, I fucked an intern. What can you do? <laughs> and then uh, and then now he's got like a, no, a I guest that, on that and he's like, was, no, no, that I speech just, was amazing. Yeah, that and was, he got it killed. But I don't, I don't think, think he said, what can now. you do? I think he looked pretty troubled by that speech. If you rewatch it, that was like that was like cinematic. And I mean, it was killing. That was like pretty crazy. It was crazy. And he owned up to it and he got ahead of it. And it was awesome. But. I feel like I still like him. I'm not shitting on him. I'm just saying now I think he like he watched some of his guests and he's like, I respect you. I love you. Well, I think like, what? To what guys like here? him, I think he, whole thing he, was being a dick. he did a podcast recently. <laughs> he did, uh, Letterman did a, a podcast fan. recently, but we'll see. Uh, he did. A, uh, no. And he was. I listened to that one. Yeah. Too. And and he was apologizing the whole time to me uh, for. So he's a Kevin. If fan. you're a <laughs> if you're. Imagine if you're that age. Right. And all the rules are changing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You must. It's like. You got to adapt. You kind of have to adapt. And by the way, you have like a staff that are kind of relying. Like he likes being like, I don't know if you took away from the interview, but like he likes being in show business. Yes. He likes winning. He likes like working. Yeah. He had a, one of my favorite quotes where he said, uh, I could not be famous because I'm so sensitive. I couldn't handle not being treated nicely. And yeah. I think about that all the time. He he said, yeah, he said stuff like that in the interview. Like he really likes his lifestyle. He likes the way. So, so if he has to be a little more like apologetic. Right. Because the, what's the alternative? Well, the alternative, like the uh, a bad, a, a, a good YouTube bad alternative show. would be uh, Roseanne. Right, right, right. Who's or, coming back? Yeah, on Fox News, on not even oh, the main it? Fox. Her new special streaming on Fox. Oh, I didn't know that. Fox streaming or something. Oh wow, uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Laura Ingram's doing the warm up for it. So. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be wild. Yeah. Audrey Taylor um, Green is the uh, closer. So uh, wow, she's gonna come out with a uh, with a t shirt gun, or is it a real gun? <laughs> um, Spy the uh, <laughs> so like I. I, that's one of those things like I don't fucking know how to be I wouldn't know what I would do in that situation yeah yeah it's tough to navigate when you have bite to your act and you're getting older I think that's that's really what it is yeah bite is hard to hold up well you just seem cranky you just seem like an old man right and if you're vital like us yeah um, <laughs> uh, you it feels like he's in the same cat. He's living the same world as I am. Mm -hmm. And like, cool, stick it to the whoever. Right, right. Whereas if you just are like, I don't get these. But if you're the same age as these, whatever your group is. Yeah. Uh, gypsies, right? I think we're all thinking <laughs> gypsies. Um, you, yeah, like it's, I don't I don't know what I would do if I were him. It's a, it's a tough he, uh, landscape. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of landmines. Like he, Colin Quinn has that great joke in his, I don't know. Should I say a new joke of a special? I, I feel like he has a he he talked about not saying or somebody talked about not saying someone's jokes on podcast. All right, all right. I won't not say it. I won't we've say said it. about forty this episode. Yeah. We've said other comedians' former jokes. Yeah, yeah. His isn't out yet. You know, uh, fuck. I was gonna make a point about Letterman. Dave. Yeah, but I do think he is like a genuinely curious person. Yes, and, and that is part of it. Where it's like even when he was snarky, there was a curiosity, you know. Mm. Uh, I'm but then use but that when I get in trouble. But look at <laughs> that's a curiosity. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm canceled. Curious. What happened to curiosity, huh? <laughs> but you know, look at a guy like Bill Murray is like a guy who's like uh, polarizing right now. Yeah, people, you good know? point. Like, good I love point. Bill Murray. You know, Same. he's just such a big part of my childhood. He got in trouble on that yeah. set. Times are times change, right? And that's exactly to the like, hey man, go out guns blazing, stick to. And it's like, no, no, no. I'm not saying he should go out guns blazing, but I just, I don't, I don't want him to change for someone else. I want you to change for you, maybe. You well, know? yeah, but I don't think that's how society works. I guess you're right. I guess you're right. I mean, if it's it's the thing, Bill Murray got away with it for a long time because he was like so funny, right? And I think his movies are too dramatic. I that's agree. Part of the, <laughs> I think that's you're probably right. part of the problem. Like Dave Chappelle can say wild shit, and it's like ah, yeah, it's funny, it's fun. Whereas Bill, it's like too many fucking too many broken Wes flowers. Anderson. Yeah, too many Wes Anderson movies. Too yeah. many hat. Too many movies where he wears hats like this. <laughs> too much uh, Oscar bait. It fucks. Yeah, you up. it'll. You can't yeah. be funny, man. You can't bite a woman's or whatever he did. Yeah, pull um, a ponytail. I think is that what he did. That's what I heard. That's but funny. Black woman. They had the hair thing. It's a difference there. 
not getting involved. <laughs> I read an article. Firm, stiff, fi- impenetrable <laughs> firewall. I Nothing to do with tweet. it. That's Scared. All I know. Sam, put yours up as well. Uh, Learn just, from me, I Sam. Didn't, I didn't Hold on a second. Did. Let me just get the tension. <laughs> that was the article. Um, <laughs> and uh, what are your what are your life goals? What's your life goal? I don't know, man. Because I, I mean, I I like my life right now, so I'd like it to just keep going this way, and I'll I'll figure. Well, out this seems like a better version of your life ten years ago. Hell Meaning yeah. the same basic funk, like same basic day to day, but with yeah. better money we're and just, we're working, more fame. We're working a lot, like which is great. And it's, you've it's started saying good. we. Which, <laughs> talk, speaking of yourself, which is pretty. <laughs> no, I mean, how, think about how often we're on the road and stuff. Yeah. We're, we're going hard. I love it. I, I've always liked this style, but yeah, I think at some point I, I'd like to meet a woman. But like you know, right now it's 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 tough. I'm home two days a week, and I'm I'm nervous to waste one of those two nights home on a maybe bad date. You uh, should put this in, put this in your dating profile. <laughs> Look, I got two nights. <laughs> Make them count. Uh, Are you? Do you have dazzle to like, me? But you're a catch now, or you weren't a catch ten years ago. Obviously, <laughs> no offense, but I, like in a woman's mind, oh, you know, you got some fame, some money, some notoriety, some some credits. Well, you got that gay Dracula shirt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look who's talking. I'm gay, married, baby. Yeah. Gay Dracula himself. I could be uh, wearing flippers right now. Um, be fine. Do you? Uh, do you find that comedians? get a bad rap dating wise meaning like when i think it's like a uh, comedian when i heard you were a comedian i was like Ugh. maybe now for sure it's probably not before. easy yeah i mean just the fact that we're never around they're like we must be a cheater i don't think that's like that. the issue. i think it's oh, we're really? neurotic oh, and mess I mean, messes dark yeah I think they think we're dark yeah we are yeah. cynical depressed a bunch yeah of stuff uh but if that's your thing yeah. Yeah. Gloomy, <laughs> unpleasant. Yeah. Still a if that's your, if you're into it. Yeah. It's yeah. also, but also like fucking funny. Yeah. That's the right. thing. No one that's like fucking funny. I, I'll tell my lady, you want to go to the SNL after party? She's like, we could do that. I'm like, yeah, I'm a comedian. <laughs> and so that's pretty cool. Yeah. So there is that. There is some perks. We can go, you can go to the Chappelle Radio City. Hey, maybe he'll throw me on. Who knows? You yeah. know, that's fun. Yeah. Um. So there, there's plenty of benefits. And like when you have, uh, you have yeah. You just it's like go the trip. You got miles. Yeah, lounge. Miles. Although yeah. you're on a bus now, you've really fucked yourself on miles. That ladies don't love a bus. <laughs> yeah, I don't do the bus every time, but the bus is fucking fun. No, I know it is. Do, do you, you like sleep it? well on the bus? I kind of do. I've yeah. only been on Chappelle's bus a long time ago. It was the best sleep I've ever. Oh, had. it's great. It, you're in that little bunk, the low uh, rumble cocoon. Yeah, I love yeah. it, dude. If you I, just don't think about like Metallica guy dying. <laughs> Just yeah. don't think he died on the bus. Guy. Yeah. Oh, you had to let him know. Huh? You ruined the bus. And yeah. just just to go all the way, they uh, which had, wicked which of the West like legs oh. under the bus. I believe that's, that's be how beater. that's how they found him. I believe. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so have yeah. you seen the Metallica documentary? I have. Oh, some kind of monster. It's fucking. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's been a it's, while. But yeah. It's came out like eighteen years. Fucking amazing. Really? Yeah, it's um, it's you, excellent. Give me some all time Doc Rex. Ooh, that one. Um, seven five is great. Brooklyn uh, yeah, that Fog, was wild. That was a great one. Fog of War. Yeah, oh, I love that's that a, one. That's a classic. Uh, that's uh, Errol Morris. Errol Morris. Yeah, yeah he's phenomenal. Thin Blue Line. Thin Blue yes, Line. Got a conviction overturned. Ever. Yeah. yeah. There's a, a guy named Adam Curtis. Who makes BBC documentaries mm. that are insane? Oh, really? They're and on YouTube, right? yeah, they're all on YouTube. Uh, and he made one called he made one called Hypernormalization. Yes. He made one called it's like really they're like philosophical. You'll right? like them really because they're like he made one about how Al Qaeda. And the religious right are basically the same thing. Whoa, that's like a bit. And they were on like an inevitable collision course. Whoa. And uh, show uh, yeah. the power of nightmares. Power, power of, of nightmares. Night- yeah, I mean, just like the titles are yeah. fucking insane. Um, this one here? Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. What a great premise. My goal in this deposition was to be truthful. But not in the politics. The politicians are promised to create a better world. We have different ways of achieving this. 
Is that John Edwards? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. Is Rick Crumb. <laughs> That's a, no one will get that. That was for you too. Ah, it's like they're they're these weird. There's one called Century of the Self, where he says, uh, where he basically explains how marketing started, mm. public relations, P PR and marketing. Like Freud's nephew came to the states and was like, "You wanted it," and like started working with advertising. Wow, started got women. Women didn't smoke, and then Freud's nephew. There was a like women's suffrage at March, and Freud's nephew had them all light a cigarette up at the same time, and he called them freedom torches. Wow! Shit like that, like a million of those things. That's amazing. Uh, um, I'll watch that one first. Yeah, like that's probably the easiest. It's four parts, but like okay. it's oh, we do a lot of wrecks on this. Part, yeah, so this is uh, a great wreck. Center the self. Um, there's the war. The house I live in. You guys see that one? No. House I live in is like a fucking masterpiece. You ever seen Supermensch? Yeah. That Which reminds me of that? that. That's about the guy, uh, Shep Gordon. Shep Gordon, yeah. Right. And oh, he was an agent. Isn't that Mike Myers made that? Yeah, well, Mike is friends with, like, is, um, like, got to. Probably. Yeah. He produced it or something. Yeah. But he made a bus break down in the middle of Piccadilly Square, whatever the hell, in London, and it had an Alice Cooper ad on it. But it broke down, so they were trying to get it. Everybody saw the ad, and it's he sold out. So he had all these cool ways of, like, helping his clients get bigger. Uh, and he's like, good. this is about the war on drugs, basically. Oh, wow. Someone calls it like a... Public enemy number one is drug abuse. What do you do when someone offers you drugs? Oh, no. Hey, it's Mr. Bean. Hey, Mr. Bean. Why we fight's good. Wow. Think about where we are 30 years later. Mm. It's great. Yeah. The guy, he, he did... Um, I can see the, why dates aren't going well, by the way. Like, you want to put on uh, Literally, of War? a girl said to me one time, good luck finding someone to watch your old man documentary. Oh! With. This, and by the way, this was 15 years back. <laughs> <laughs> Things Jesus. have not gotten You're going to age into finding an old woman. No, I know, well, no what's funny is the culture has met me. Like, now everyone wants documentaries. Yeah. I saw, I used to see shit in the theaters. Like, I saw oh, wow. Brothers Keeper in the theaters. Wow. Like, fucking a tell. I, I think I saw half of them with a tell. Like, Jesus. Yeah. Um, I know I'm, I would bet money. You two I are the brothers. only ones in the theater. He's I swear to God. Yeah. We went to the, the one <laughs> on, uh, on Houston. Angelica? Angelica? No, the Sunshine. one. Sunshine. Now left. You guys are going the wrong direction. Uh, wow. Film for it. Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. Um, it's got a giant pillar in the middle and it's what a theater. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the it's subway. classic though. Uh, do you guys want to make TV shows or anything? Ah, that's a good question. At some point, I think. You do? I think at some point, yeah. yeah. I mean, has anyone noticed that he completely flipped this and made this Blocks podcast? Because hey, I don't, well, I am saving the good shit for the, for the, oh, for when you guys come on. Um, All right. But I, because I don't want, I don't know, they, I don't want uh, Mark to fart on me. <laughs> um, well, and I just got to keep him busy. This, this is defense <laughs> turning into offense. Yeah. Right here. Um, a TV the, show, I don't know. I mean, if it could be a like a Tosh.0, oh, uh, something like that, I would do. Well, you could still be you, but I can't act. I don't want to write an arc and have a bunch of, bunch of dumb characters and a wacky neighbor. You don't want a doorbell? Nah. Yeah. No right. doorbell. Yeah. Maybe a ring camera. That could be a fun show. Sure, that's a good device. But I still love that. I still love the old type of like like great shows. I, I, yeah, part of me does want to do that. How you got to have a new spin, though, like Atlanta or something. No. You know? I don't, I mean, it's so hard. It's that's a the lot thing of work. Is, that's the thing is I don't, whenever I think about it, I'm like, I don't want to do that to myself. You disappear for like four years. You just start, but also like your, it's like being on the road but like way worse. Yeah. It's just like so much harder yeah. than you can even imagine. Trailers and script supervisor and video village. All, ah, it's but it's also much. just casting and locations. And, yeah. Uh, you just have so many decisions to make. I know. And Lots. you got to write it. 
So like, and you gotta like make it improve it, make it yep. better. Yep. Then you gotta go press tour for it. Yeah. It's it's just never ending, and so you only much. get a billion dollars <laughs> <laughs> if it's good enough. If, if it hits. If it's Seinfeld, you get a billion dollars. Right. 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 Um, Apparently, The Last of Us was the most expensive shoot of all time, or some shit like that. So it's like it ain't cheap. No. I mean, that's a giant production, but it's a lot. And look at yeah. what it did to Mulaney. I think it fucked him up. Doing a TV show? Yeah. That's fun. No, I haven't heard that theory. Go well, ahead. I think it fucked. I mean, his special was called Comeback Kid. He's like, I'm coming back. Like, that was tough. I it was, t I don't, I mean, it was like three episodes and uh, I. Great cast, though. Who was it? Marty Short yeah, and Ellie Gould. Cool. Oh, yeah. Sure. Classic. Yeah. Yeah, great cast. At one point, he wanted Paul Mooney to be in it. Wow. I swear to God. He's like, you think Mooney would do it? I love that he uses Earthquake on the road. To me, that's so yeah. fun. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so that's great that that's why he did drugs. <laughs> um, that's what, that did that's it. what made him do drugs. It's a sitcom. Um, so, all right, so no, so maybe a T, maybe like a, but by the way, like a Tosh.0 oh now, you could do every day. True. Like this. Just, like even, like the idea, it all ha it should be like what, however much all of us caught, or last right. of us. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like if you're going to do a show, make it, like blow it out. Right. But yeah, just to write a script, all that just seems like too much work. Yeah. All right. Great. You wouldn't? Would you do it? No. I mean, You've I already done it. Yeah, I did. It in was in the heyday, though. Uh, yeah, but just the difficulty was like I don't. I also don't like dealing with the the uh, like the not the network, but just it's just like the kind of people I don't. I, the thing I like about the road is you can deal with like a very small amount of people. Yes, exactly. And it's, and it's like a fair thing. Like I show up, sell tickets, I'm going to talk, then I leave. Yeah, I mean, I don't <laughs> instead wanna... of like, okay, hey, can we grab dinner? Yes, like, oh. yes, exactly. So many steps to everything. Yeah. Like uh, I don't want to name drop, but I've been chatting with Seinfeld, and I think the only reason he's sinking as low as to calling me is because he's in L.A. and he's shooting this movie and he's dying. Yeah, he's he's watched this. He watched the episode of Colin Quinn. That's how bored he is. That's so funny. I know. It was like, a good app, though. It was a good app, and Quinn's the man. But I'm just saying, like, he's like, I gotta. He's like shaking. He's like, I gotta get back out there. Yeah, I miss. Well, he comedy. likes comedy. Yeah, he loves comedy. Yeah. So uh, that's what that's what these shows do to you. They take you away a little bit. Well, it. He actually, I was gonna say this earlier. Uh, he said one time it took him four years to learn how to be a person <laughs> when after the show ended. Whoa! Like Whoa. he just to like talk to his wife's friends, right? Like PTA meetings, because he was in show mode for. He so was long? just like, I'm in charge of everything. Oh, I make I every see. decision. I think he's like it just to be like with people, right? <laughs> to go from, it's what we were saying earlier. It's like it's easier to be a comic at this point, yeah, than it is to be a person. Completely agree, and it's easy to slip into that. You know, when you're at Thanksgiving, you're like, this sucks. Oh, I gotta, I gotta just fake it. What am I doing? I gotta do this. I don't want to be here, but you got to do it. Yeah. But you want to go back on the road. Yeah, but it's so sad that we refer to being a person as faking it. Of course. <laughs> That's so sad. That's how it is. Yeah. Ugh. It's uh, tough. Yeah. Um, how do you guys end this thing? <laughs> I feel like we, we plug your special blocks on Netflix. Fantastic. Loved what about it. my road dates, Sam? Great special. Yeah. And Neil, where are you going to be, man? Hold on. I have it here. NeilBrennan.com. Pull that up. Bam. Oh, Madison. Bam. Is there a better Bam. club in America? Madison, I think, sold out. Salt Lake sold out. Nashville saw this coming. Well, Still not sold out. You're slumming it, huh? You're doing some real rooms. Well, I'm doing real rooms, then I'm doing fake rooms. San all Diego, right. I think, is staying. It's it, they're all they're all pretty close to sold out, if not if not all the way there. Baltimore, We're in Baltimore. Atlanta, Atlanta, New Orleans. Oh, the joy. Uh, the where am I doing in Baltimore? I don't know. The lyric. That's the that's the only place I know. Is that what do you? Which one do you guys do? Well, we were McGooby's guys, but the lyric is like the step up. Right. It's like the thousand seater. I don't think it's a thousand. Um, but yeah, so go on neilbrennan.com. If you got a good airport, yeah. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, suck it, Atlanta. <laughs> no, Atlanta's got, well, it's, if you have a big airport. Uh, and then, of course, the Blocks though. podcast, you forget. Oh, yeah. You have to be on. You got and, that right. Uh, we've had Letterman. We had uh, love Letterman. It's, Sam's I love ex. his new act. <laughs> we had uh, we had uh, who else? We had we had uh, Sebastian. Fucking, uh, Sebastian. We had Nikki Glazer. We had Ronnie Chang this Ooh, week. Good we list. Got uh, you gotta get a black. Fucking wagon doing black. What this are you week. doing? Come on, uh, Roy's coming on. Charlemagne's coming on. Ooh, now we're talking. Um, 
Yeah, get, uh, get you got people. Roy. We've been trying to get Roy for months. That son of a bitch. It's fun. I'm sure he. Why he well, asked him? He, he lives by. He'll do it. All right. All you right. Get Roy. Yeah, I saw him the other right. day. I was too scared to ask him. Really? I don't want to bother. Sebastian he's a, he's a dad. It's well, tough. and Bobby wanna, Lee. Bobby Lee is oh, the champ right now. Best pod numbers. Guy. Killer. Oh, Perfect yeah, yeah. podcast guest has no boundaries. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Literally has no boundaries. He used to close by stripping. Right. Yeah. Used yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> we we did uh something's burning together, and his Bert's like flipping a burger. So what's going on, guys? He goes, "Would you? I was blown by a boy when I was twelve. We're like." We just started, and you just open with that. That was his opening, so that was fun. So that was great. That so you could stream that as well. <laughs> it's on YouTube. On YouTube, it's called "Something's views. Burning." But great numbers. Bert, yeah, Bert did my podcast too. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um. Anyhow, uh, this was uh, we might be drunk. Yeah. Oh, you guys are oh yeah. Uh, Huntington, AC. Uh, I don't know when this comes out. Uh, Royal Oak, uh, Minneapolis. You uh, fucking Madison, Madison Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Yeah, Boston added another one. So get, I should get put up sold outs on mine. Yeah, because it looks cooler. It I just I'm cool. have a thing where I'm like afraid of my web guy. <laughs> it's like a curve. Miami, like, Orlando, Ponte Vedre, Charleston, Atlanta, DC, oh all this shit. Samuel.com slash a squeaker. <laughs> Uh, you got off easy. I that appreciate you doing it during my plugs too. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> well, he's the guest. I'm trying. I'm trying to sell tickets. He's like, hold on, let me get that. Uh, Whew, that is no joke either. Fucking Porchester, a bunch of stuff. All right, I'm all over the Wilkes place. Barry. Come, come to the. Uh... Why does the picture on your website look like Job Amalile? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like you at all. I know. I, I'm scared of my web guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Come on out, MarkNormanComedy.com. You know where to find me. Come to Chicago. God damn it. And, uh, doing a special. And BodegaCatWhiskey.com. Yes. We love you. Drink our whiskey. It's great. And more come. merch is coming. It's, oh, uh, the yeah. merch is killer. Oh, the shirts are great. And the sweaters. Yeah. Looking good. Thank you, gang. I'll see you all in hell. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, I thought you had to leave. <laughs> no, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> all right. Sorry. Thank you. Go see Stephanie at her bar. The Vegetarian Depot. Yes. No. ABCV. ABCV. All right, comedy. Sunday's the day for my next bender. A bit of Pivarek, you know the beer juice close. I've had a little too much bourbon, and Norman's talking shit about the fucking Pope. And I get down in the same way. Up on the roof like a cop's coming, and naked Samuel is feeling dangerous. I'm out to lunch here in Woman doesn't look like I remember her, and I get down.